you know. <sighs> if there's one fucking thing worse than this motherfucking wild, wildfire smoke. <coughs> Blanketing. <coughs> Blanketing. What is it? 15 states now. Down to Georgia. <coughs> you know, there's dealing with the smoke. It is. What is today? It is Wednesday, June 7th, 2023. You know, it's one thing having to deal with the, with the goddamn smoke, especially as a vacation rental host. And imagine what that's doing to business here in New York. I, I actually had somebody, uh, they just about an hour ago emailed me wanting to uh, rent <clears throat> the Blue Dragon tiny house. You know, I posted all of these beautiful pictures last night. And the woman says, she goes, I noticed you did not post a picture of the inside of the bathroom. Could you please send me a photograph of the inside of your bathroom to approve? And uh, I, 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 I just said, lady, uh, for you even to ask that question, you would not be happy at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, I don't know if she was talking about the inside of the outhouse or the inside of the other bathroom, but anyway, d d just I anybody <clears throat> who wants me to send them a picture of the fucking bathroom to approve before they, you know, you're not a fit at Bugs in a Jar, okay? Just, just, you know, just get the fuck out of here, and, uh, <sighs> so sick and tired of this bullshit. I need to approve the inside of your bathroom, and, and this is really what this rant is about, uh, it, 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 about this fucking wildfire smoke. <clears throat> it is irritating as the smoke is all of this fear-mongering, nanny state, fucking emergency, this and that. I, I hear our governor is handing out one million free masks. So you have all of this shit in the mainstream. It's all over fucking NPR. Every time you turn on the fucking radio, the TV, open up the goddamn mainstream media, throwing all of this shit out of there, uh, about there's some fucking smoke in the air. No fucking shit. There's some fucking smoke in the air. Put on your mask. Stay inside. Don't let your children out. For God's sake. I, I haven't read. Uh, amazingly, uh, don't don't let your fucking dog out. You know, as far as I can tell, the fucking birds are out tweeting all day. Uh, the fucking birds. They're not wearing a fucking mask. You know, I see them teaching their goddamn babies to fly. Uh, all, all of this fucking fear-mongering bullshit. You know, listen to this. I, I, you know, uh, there's a dozen of these motherfucking things on here. What little limp dick lefty fear-mongering uh, website is this shit? This is just one. Uh, it, again, you can just throw a dart. Who the fuck is this? The Daily Beast, wildfire smoke is choking the Northeast. Here are six ways to protect yourself. Yes, there's some smoke in the air. No, and they have a picture of the Statue of Liberty with a gas mask on. Ugh. Take a wild guess. The uh, you know, this is mainly talking about New York uh, being fucked. And then they finally, after they uh, tell us it's smoky outside, 
as wildfires continue to spiral out of control, there's a good chance that the situation grows worse before it gets better. Do you think so, you clueless fucking moron? With rising global temperatures due to anthropogenic climate change, rising global temperatures, it's fucking freezing. Fucking freezing. It never hit 60 fucking degrees today. With rising global temperatures due to blah, 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 you can bet that we'll see a lot more of these issues crop up in the future. So, to that end, here are a few best practices to keep in mind in our new hellish smoky apocalypse. I have heard the word apocalypse uh, come out of more people's mouths today than any day of my entire life. Everybody. <clears throat> apocalypse is the word of the day in New York. Number one of the six, mask up. Deadly airborne particles that threaten your health. You know what that means. It's time to break out those corona panic masks. You do still have them, right? Yes. But as we've learned from the corona panic, not all masks offer the same amount of protection. That means bandanas dust masks and even surgical masks will not be enough to do the trick. Yes. You should opt for an N95 mask. Blah the fuck, but shut the fuck up about your fucking mask, you little fucking pussy. You know, on and on, talking about getting fucking air purifiers, spending thousands of fucking dollars retrofitting your fucking house because there's a little bit of fucking smoke. I, I, I wonder how many of the, these clueless motherfuckers who smoke three fucking packs of cigarettes every day are sitting around running out buying a motherfucking mask because there's a little bit of fucking smoke in the air. You know, I'm 63 fucking years old. I spent 10 fucking hours out there in that smoke today. 10 fucking hours shoveling goddamn wood chips and all this shit. Man, doing the, you know, planet nibbling all fucking day. Never fucking coughed. Never fucking sniffled. I go to the fucking. Uh, you, you know, the wood chips, the malt spice. Think about wood chips and this guy who works there uh, who won't let you come into the office. So he's wearing a mask. He, you know, you, you knock on the outside window when he comes in this. So he walks up to me wearing a mask. And right before he opens the window, he puts on a second mask. I guess he has his Corona Panic mask and his fucking wildfire mask. This is the fucking dude selling wood chips. Two fucking masks on. Oh, fuck. All fucking day out there in this shit. You know, sleeping with the fucking windows open all last night in the goddamn tiny house. Having my coffee outside this morning. Spending all fucking day outside. Didn't wear a fucking mask. You know, uh, I, I remember even when I was living in California, way the fuck back when... Uh, when we had these uh, wildfires, not near as common, as, but, but still plenty of wild. There were plenty of days like this that I used to deal with in Santa Cruz back then and then again when I was living in the Pacific Northwest. There were plenty of fucking days like this. I never remember seeing one fucking person, maybe a couple of Asians, maybe a couple of little fucking panic stricken Asians, but, but, I, but I'm not even sure of that. Uh, I, you know, wearing these fucking masks I, I, and, and, and all of this fucking shit about, you know, put your goddamn kids in a 
fucking hermetically sealed chamber. Well, I, I kind of agree with that. Put your fucking kids in a hermetically sealed chamber and fucking leave them there. Little fucking brats. Hope every motherfucking one of them gets fucking pneumonia and fucking dies. Ugh, Jesus. And all of this motherfucking school bus pollution. Ugh, Jesus fucking Christ. You know, who was it, this, this dude? I'm sorry, I can't remember. Who was it at my party last year? You know, we were talking about uh, the, the corona panic, obviously. Uh, you know, and, and he didn't give a flying fuck uh, whether you wore a mask or not. He, he said, I'm, he goes, I, I'm not triggered by it. No, he didn't. He chose not to wear one because he had a fucking brain. But, uh, you know... He goes, he goes, you know, Emma, what I can't wrap my head around, he, he, he goes, is when did we become such a planet of fucking pussies? Exactly. When did we become a planet uh, uh, of such a bunch of fucking pussies, man? Uh, you know, anything now. Put on your fucking mask. Get a fucking air. You know, spend ten thousand dollars retrofit in your fucking house. Go hide. Go hide in your fucking house. Get in the fucking closet in a fucking fetal position. It's a little bit of fucking smoke in the air. You little pussy. You fucking dickless little pussy. You know, get some fucking blood in your dick. You know? I, I, I just get so fucking sick and tired uh, of, the, of this fucking fear-mongering. Some goddamn smoke in the air. You know, act like we've never seen any fucking smoke in the air. I, I don't like this shit any better than anybody else. But I'm not fucking wearing a fucking two-masked... And, and, and spending a thousand fucking dollars on some motherfucking air purifier. You know? I'm out there busting my fucking ass, dealing with it. Fucking deal with it, you fucking pussies. Fucking deal with it. There's going to be a lot more where this came from. Uh, Jesus, fucking bit talking about wanting to see pictures of the inside of my bathroom to approve. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't believe she's even, uh, that she's even leaving her goddamn house. She, she lives in fucking Rochester. Does she think that she's going to escape this shit by coming to the Finger Lakes? Got some bad news for you, lady. The inside of my bathroom is the least of your goddamn problems. Oh, fuck. Yes, little dog. What do you think about a wildfire smoke? Doesn't seem to have bothered you. I have not heard you complain one time about the wildfire smoke. I'm not even not heard, not heard you do that. What do you think about the wildfire smoke? Anyway, guys. Uh, you little fear strangled pussies. Put on your fucking mask. You make me fucking want to puke. Bye, guys.